Good morning, good morning, my sunshines. How is everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see this morning, I am doing something a little bit different. I decided to go ahead and give you guys a tour of my coffee bar. This is what it currently looks like. And I said, hey, I'm getting ready to make my pot of coffee. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what my coffee bar currently looks like before I take it all down for fall. I am so excited to decorate for fall. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. This is an overview of the coffee bar. Now, it's 100% complete, but not 100% complete. And the being is, I am so picky about my shelving. This cabinet came from Kirkland's and it has a grayish undertone. And I've been having a hard time finding a shelving unit or anything of storage um, to match. And I am so picky, my OCD won't allow me to be great. So it looks like I'm gonna have to just pick up some lumber from Home Depot and use a stain mix to match. Like I said, this, cab this cabinet, this console, with the barn doors came from Kirkland's. It was originally $329.99, but I picked it up for the deal of the day, which was $99.99. So I'm extremely excited about that. It was a hot item. Everyone in the local groups was going crazy about this cabinet because it is pretty awesome. Okay, so let's walk on over here to get closer. This is my three tier tray that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. It was originally $39.99, but I picked it up for 50% off. And at the bottom, I just have a Dollar Tree Lemon Bowl with a Ray Dunn Happy Bowl with yellow inside, a batch of lemons, this garland, the Granny Ball that I picked up from the 99 cent only store. This Squeeze the Day tea towel from Joann's. My Sunshine mug that came in a set with the Hello. With some paper straws. And way back there, do not pay attention to that sign. I just have a coffee sign back there that I didn't have nowhere else to put because I don't have a shelving. So I just stuck it back there. The next tier, I have this, When Life Gives You Lemons, little sign for $1 from Dollar General, a lemon scented infuser that I received as a gift, my pinch and dash bowls. I have a black mason jar back there that was intended to be a candle holder from the Dollar Tree, but I took the candle part out and made it my little candy dish that I keep all my lemon mints and lemon candies. Some straws for decor. My top tray has my fresh lemon squeezer, Ray Dunn of course. Two ceramic lemons from the Target Dollar Spot and another greenery ball. I have my lemonade pitcher on top with some greenery from Walmart for 99 cents. And I just thought it was really cute to add that pop of yellow. And I have this letter board back here that I put on here, don't squeeze my lemons. I got this letter board from Five Below for $5. I have my Baby Yum that contains my creamer, my dry creamer, sugar, the medium sugar, of course, the large coffee that contains my coffee, and I have my coffee machine. I will be updating my coffee machine here in the future, but right now, this would do. And it also dwells as a K-cup. Um, you can operate a K-cup in there. So, here's an overview of my shelving. I just have my sweet tea pitcher back there in the top. Let's get step back, see if you can see. I have this white and yellow polka dot 
um, teapot on a Target Dollar Spot cake stand, a stack of ovals, the lemonade crate from the Target Dollar Spot, some lemon paper plates and napkins um, just for decor as well as function. If I want to have a pastry, I could just use that instead of messing up dishes. I have these faux espresso mugs that I picked up from Walmart for 88 cents. And they do resemble the Ray Dawn ones. So I thought that was cute. Just have another greenery ball that I stuck back there. The second shelf is like my tea shelf. I have my teapot, my medium tea canister, iced tea pitcher, tea mug, my sugar pot, this tea scented canned candle from Dollar Tree, a corral of, of lemons, and I have this black spoon. I don't know what the purpose is, but it was cute. I got it from Dirt Cheap for 30 cents. And at the bottom, I just have this um, wild basket of all my current favorite mugs. Done Life, Done Day, Done Fun, Shine, and Adulting. I got this basket from Hobby Lobby. It was on their major clearance. And I think I paid like less than $5 for it. So I thought that was super cute. And I just have this faux fur um, stool I got from the 99 cent only store for $7.99. And I just have my magnolia home basket full of my other everyday mugs. And I have it sitting on a farmhouse local crate box from TJ Maxx for $9.99. And it just holds like a lot of little um, dining room knickknacks, like my table linen, my um, napkin holders and things of that nature. So yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the inside of the cabinet. This is a real life tour. I didn't organize. I didn't do anything special. Like I said, I decided to pick, you know, go pick up the camera get on here and show you guys since I have been promising you guys this video for quite some time and before I did take it all down I wanted to go ahead and get it out the way I like to try to keep my word so yeah let's go ahead and get into this cabinet now this cabinet does make some noise listen when you open it but I guess that's the sound of the barn doors <laughs> way in the back on the top shelf I just have my all black mugs, Ray Dunn mugs, and all my holiday mugs. And like I said, it's just an overflow. I have some extra mugs, some tumblers that's not Ray Dunn, but like my Starbucks, just random tumblers, things I need on the go. So that's all I have for that door. For this next door, I have my overflow of coffee, my flavored um, coffee sweeteners, my filters in this um, black wire basket. And way in the bottom, if you can see, I have like straws, um, seasonal um, napkins, my coffee cup warmer, my K-cup mixer, and th just things like that. I don't have it crowded and cluttered. That's just not my style. I like to keep things simple and clean. So yeah, this is another overview. And it's not 100% done, y'all, but it's 100% done. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for my fall decor one. I should be doing that pretty soon. So if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. I would love to have you a part of the Sunshine Squad. Give this video a fat thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until my next one, Sunshines, I hope you guys have an awesome, beautiful day. Mwah.